Okay. All right, yeah, find the derivative of the function. Okay, so when you have lots of terms, you have to make this all in this notation. Okay. All right, so how do I get this into that notation? X is a half. Okay, when you have a square root, it means the power half. Okay, and then you just apply your derivatives. Do they want the derivative? Yeah, they did. Okay, so 6 times 3 is 18. Yep. 6 minus 1 is 5. Okay, when you have this as a minus a half, you would write it as, 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 as this. Okay, the minus a half means it's in the denominator. And because it's a half... Yep. It's obviously a square root. Now that's the part that um, you know, that I was struggling with. Obviously, uh, inverting. Um, yes. Another question I had now was um, I was looking also at the one example. I can't remember the question, but it was also with a fraction where you had to invert it to make it positive. But I think it was um, it was something like four. 4 over x squared, I think. Okay, if you've got that, okay, this could be written like this. Yeah, 4x minus 2. So I don't understand, why do you make it 4, uh, four x Do you multiply the 4 with the x? No, I can understand uh, you're just writing the this x. in the numerator. Because remember, when you have, um, so x okay x to the zero is what it's one correct so if you had to write this down you could write it down like this 4x to the zero over x to the two okay when you have this and that um what do you do you subtract because you have division so you could have this? 4x to the zero minus two That's another way of looking at it. So basically, if you have anything in the denominator, okay, how would you write that without the fraction? So that uh, um, x to the power minus 3. Yes. Okay, so when you have a negative 3, it just talks about if it's in the numerator or the denominator. If you had something like this, okay, then that would be the same as x to the 1. Okay, because this just means move it to that side. Okay. Okay, or if you had to rewrite this, you could say 1 over 1 over x. That would be 1 divided by 1 over x which is the same as and 1 times them. x over 1, times which is x. x. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is that all right? Yes. Yeah. So these are just a few basics uh, in terms of um, your exponent rules. Um, let me just check and see if I can maybe show you um, in your study guide. Let's go to the study guide and see if there's a page that you can maybe use as a reference. Um, they should give you the rules. Um, okay, why do I have two open here? Oh, this was 2018. Close that. Okay, so let's see. Do they give you a list of rules here for exponents? They should. Um, probably in the basics, I guess. So, that basically I'm working off. Can I enter anything in the chat over here? Sorry, what's that? Um, I yeah, know I did get something on the internet on Google um, where I'm basically what I'm basically using for the rules, exponent okay. rules. Um, um, yeah, a, a normally good um, good textbooks like uh, you could probably if you if you have old textbooks maybe from like high school or something like that, um, you will probably find those rules there. Um, so these are obviously fractions. Okay, 
uh, laws of operation, that's bot mass, fractions, yep. um, we're looking at exponents. Okay, see, I don't see exponents here. I see it here, non-linear. They're working with exponentials. It's probably there, 179. Um, okay, no, not quite. These are still graphs. Uh, okay, yeah, this is, there, there we go. Here. There's it. Okay, when you have exponents being multiplied, you add. Do you see that? Yes. Yep. Okay, here, when you have divide, you minus. Do you see that? Uh, yes. Okay, so there's some basic examples. Okay, when you have an exponent being raised by an exponent, then you have that multiplication. All right, so they, they actually do give it to you. They, they are the rules there. So this is the okay. rule that I'm using. Basically. Okay, so for example, if I had x to the 1 over x to the 4, that would be what? x to the 1 minus 4, which is x to the minus 3. Or you can just say, cancel, cancel, 1 over x to the 3. So 1 over x to the 3 is the same as that. Does that make sense? Uh, yes. Yeah, so these are just some basics. <laughs> Looking at exponent rules, yeah. <laughs> this page I would probably keep somewhere. Page 179. Just those okay. rules, that's all. Okay, have a look at this there. Here, Eunice is giving you some practice examples. Right, 2 to the 5 over... 2 to the 3, and 2 to the minus 4. Okay, so that's how they've done it. You could have done it this way. Okay, what could you do? You could write this down as 2 to the 5 times 2 to the 4 over 2 to the 3. And then cancel, cancel, 1, 2 to the 6. Okay. Okay, so you can just move it left and right, uh, not left and right, up and down. Okay, because it's a minus 4, you can bring it to the top. Okay. Okay. Alright, are you okay with this one, hey? Uh, which one is it? This uh, one? Yeah, this. Okay, so the answer was... Four. Okay. Um, which other ones? Yeah. So I basically just asked. I just wanted to make sure that I understand it correctly. Um, okay. Yes. Next one. I think twenty-four. Twenty-four. Okay. So. 